Business Lexington is made possible by the Keeneland Association, offering the finest in thoroughbred racing each April and October along with auctions four times yearly in Lexington, Kentucky. By the law firm of Bowles Rice. By Smiley Pete Publishing, Lexington's community media company at smileypete.com. Business Lexington arts and economy columnist Christine Huskisson often writes about the power that public art can bring to the economic revitalization of a community. We're seeing some forward motion to that end, especially in the North Limestone neighborhood. Christine takes us there to witness this transformation firsthand. That's right, Tom. It's nice to know we live in a city where we can express the history and character of our individual neighborhoods, and public art has become a means to do just that. For nearly two years, Lexington has called for an expanded public art program, and LexArts has responded with the Lexington Outdoor Mural Project. For one neighborhood in particular, it's more than just a facelift. The new wall mural has issued a more profound challenge. LexArts wanted to do a mural program because murals can really help identify a community. By selecting a certain subject matter within the mural, a community can uh, show this is what we represent. The mural project came out of a series of public discussions that the Knight Foundation hosted with the Community Legacy Initiative and then also the Mayor's Destination 2040 and recent trips that Commerce Lexington has taken to cities like Providence and most recently Austin, Texas where the arts play a very significant part of their economy. And in that, that's generated a lot of discussion amongst civic leaders and business leaders about the role of public art. I think in response to the community conversations, LexArts decided that this was a good time to get public art going. And we were very deliberate to approach community associations and neighborhood associations and ask for their involvement. And our community arts manager, Nathan Zamron, has been involved working with the neighborhood associations to select the artists and also to identify the topics that they want to cover. The advisory committee decided to uh, choose uh, Southland Drive and the YMCA in downtown and also the North Limestone Neighborhood Association for the north end of the town. The community groups uh, had different levels of engagement. Uh, some would uh, send one person to help conduct meetings that we, conduct, that we held to um, decide what the subject matter would be and narrow down the pool of artists, whereas North Limestone, where we had several community members that would show up and representing different aspects of the community, Marty Clifford was phenomenal to work with in uh, helping us to work through the process of what they wanted to represent their community and it, w it turned out that it was the revitalization of that area and the energy that's building. Um, it's really exciting to see uh, how that community has pulled together to make change for the better in their area. The Neighborhood Association started meeting with Owls Bar a couple years ago and uh, once they told us they wanted to transition into a community spot and bringing live music back into the community. Uh, we have found that music had been a part of the culture in our community for a long time so when we talked about the theme of the mural, music just became a, a, a natural theme. One of our sort of motives with the bar is to celebrate local culture, food cultures, music cultures, art, and you know, all sorts of creative enterprises, and it just seemed like a perfect fit. It's a very visible wall, and you know, it, it seemed like it could potentially be a huge asset to the neighborhood. We worked with the artist, and we sort of asked him to sort of look back into the history of the neighborhood and see some of the artists that have that have been here and have sort of grew up around here and you know sort of incorporate that into what he did and I think he did a phenomenal job of that. This is also like a banner saying you know things are changing here and uh, I really hope this is the start of something really good for the neighborhood. The bottom line mural has some children listening to these guys. They're about um, maybe eight, nine, ten years old. They're all like in their 50s or 60s now. And they're looking at you as you come up to listen to the, the music. And it's kind of like inviting you back into the past to listen to it. But it's also a message to them. They're grown now. 
this is their legacy what are they it's a challenge what are they going to do with it you know this is when you were a kid and this is what this neighborhood was they had live musicians on the street you know can we do this again the challenge is this could this mural behind me and all that it represents help stimulate this neighborhood back to the vibrant entertainment district that it once was while more and more people in Lexington are believing in the power of art, the impact of each of these murals really remains to be seen. But the dialogue is certainly on the streets. Reporting for Business Lexington, I'm Christine Huskisson.